Hey, welcome back to the channel. Tesla stock has set yet another all-time high, $2,100 per share and a $400 billion market cap. This is compared to the $66 billion market cap in the lows in March. This incredible run continues to baffle Wall Street analysts and more and more investors are now getting into Tesla stock for the first time. It's up almost 500% since the lows in March and many people now believe it's in a bubble. I think Tesla stock will continue to climb until the end of September with battery day and then have a very solid correction. I think many people are investing and do not understand the risks and this will lead to a considerable pullback in the share price. Tesla gained another 6.4% to set a new all time high in yesterday's trading session. Their blistering rally has resulted in the stock climbing 900% from a $40 billion valuation to a $400 billion valuation in the space of 12 months. Tesla short seller Doug Cass says Tesla has transitioned beyond the status of overvalued and may now be the biggest stock market bubble of all time. This week, Cass said Tesla's underlying business fundamentals simply do not support anything close to its current valuation. Many analysts claim Tesla is overvalued. I think they see the 900% one year increase and just assume that it must be overvalued. I think it's just corrected to a fair value point as for a long time it was suppressed below its true value. It was stuck at a 40 to 50 billion dollar market cap for several years while it had 24.6 billion dollars worth of revenue last year it was trading at less than two times its annual revenue it had not posted an annual profit since its ipo and still hasn't but it had recently announced four sequential quarters of profitability this has now led to the increase in the share price in a very short period of time i expect tesla to continue to grow from here I think it will be worth close to $800 billion in the space of 3 years and it will be close to $1.2 to $1.4 billion within the next 5 years. I think there is a lot of growth still in this company. Tesla have roughly 1 million pre-orders for the Cybertruck. Many polls came out asking voters if they did or didn't like the design and roughly 55% of them voted that they did not like the new concept. Now people have come to terms with the new revelation. I think Tesla is on the path to a $50 billion revenue year within the next two years. I think the year of 2022 will be a huge year for Tesla. 2021 is also very important as that's when they're going to be rolling out the Cybertruck production as they continue to enhance their capacity to produce with the building of the Gigafactory Berlin and the Gigafactory in Texas. Cass said Tesla's business compares unfavorably to that of legacy automakers such as Ford, GM and Fiat Chrysler. Faced with an onslaught of competition, Tesla's market cap is now nearly four times that of Ford, GM and Fiat Chrysler combined, despite selling only 400,000 cars annually compared to 17 million units by the other three. Cass also said Tesla has utilised aggressive accounting and has yet to prove a consistently profitable business model without relying on regulatory credit sales. I definitely think this is a fair criticism that Tesla have been selling ZEV credits in order to achieve profitable quarters. But I do not think it's fair to say that there's an onslaught of competition as Tesla have been warned about competition for 10 years and it still hasn't appeared. Tesla's technology lead is undeniable. As you can see on the screen, it's just not even comparable to what the competition have and what the competition will have in even 12 months time. Tesla are so far ahead and battery day is just around the corner. On the 22nd of September, Tesla will unveil a battery breakthrough that will send the stock soaring. Once people realise that the other competition is not even close and are, I think competition is the wrong word to use because these are just zombie companies that will not be able to compete with Tesla on a global scale. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did make sure to hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications if you're new. And make sure to leave a comment down below on whether or not you think Tesla is the world's biggest bubble. I personally don't think it is and I think it's still an undervalued company with the best risk to reward ratio on the marketplace. I'll see you guys very soon for another video on the channel.